Now to make this concept clear, let us discuss about swabbing effect. So here I have taken an example of a well. You can see I have a well where I have a BHA and there's an annulus. So annulus is full of mud, string is also full of mud. Now we can consider BHA as a piston and the well bore or the outer periphery of the well is considered as cylinder. So this replicates a piston liner effect. So same way to understand the topic, I have taken example of two piston liners, two different type of piston and liners. We can call it a syringe. So here the first syringe, uh, you can say that this is liner or a cylinder and this is a piston. Now, as you can see, there is a big gap between piston and cylinder, whereas in B, there is no gap between piston and cylinder. Now, what will happen if I pull the piston apart this direction and let's say I have some fluid outside the system on the syringe outside. So when I pull the piston apart, what happens behind the piston? Let us discuss A. Behind piston, there will be a negative pressure created or we can call it as suction force. Same thing happens in B also, there will be a suction force. And if I consider my well bore, so when I make an upward movement of string or when I pick up my string, there will be a negative pressure created at this point. We call it as suction force or negative pressure. Now let's come back to point A. Now here, outside piston, that is outside the system, we have got positive pressure. And behind piston is also positive pressure. And that pressure is on your head, on my head, everywhere you can see that pressure. That is the atmospheric pressure. 14 point something, 14.6 or something like that. So I have an atmospheric pressure which is a positive pressure here. And behind the piston as well. So behind the piston as well, positive pressure. And outside is also positive pressure. Now when I pull the piston outwards, so what happens in A? there will be a negative pressure created because of the suction effect and at the same time the pressure positive pressure from behind the piston will come and neutralize the effect so immediately the positive pressure from the other side of the piston will come on the negative side and the negative attracts the positive pressure so it neutralizes the effect so when the effect is created and at the same time it is neutralized so the outside pressure has no chance to come inside so that's the reason in syringe a or in piston a the outside fluid will not come inside whereas in system b when i pull piston apart there is a negative pressure and because the positive pressure from the opposite side of piston can't come to the negative side because the piston is face to face to the cylinder. So there is no space, literally no space that positive pressure comes to the negative side. So negative will remain negative. So what happens? This negative pressure will attract the positive pressure from outside. And outside fluid will enter into the system. And that's the reason the fluid enters into B system, not in A. Because of the annulus clearance. Now let's understand what happens in my well bore. Whenever I make an upward movement of string or I pick up my string to pull out, there is a negative pressure created. And at the same time, we have got positive pressure outside the formation, that is the formation pressure. And we can consider the fluid which is in annulus as a positive pressure because whenever I pick up my string, this vacuum created behind bit or below bit is neutralized by this fluid. That's what we have seen in A. The fluid from the other or the pressure from the positive pressure from the other side of the piston neutralize the negative pressure because there is a big gap. So if the gap is sufficient, then when you pull out, the fluid from annulus will come and neutralize the effect. So the fluid from formation has got no chance to enter into the well bore. But what will happen if the annular clearance decrease so here the annular clearance decrease, it may decrease because of bit of stabilizer ball up or if you increase the length of BHA. When I make an upward movement of string because there is a restriction in annulus, so the fluid required, the total fluid that is required below the bit will not come down. 
and as a result the negative pressure will remain negative and the formation fluid will enter and neutralize the effect so as a result there will be a swab fluid so first factor that lead to swabbing is annular clearance and annular clearance decreases because of bit or stabilizer build up or increase in length of bhf okay now let us understand the second factor that influence uh, swabbing let's take an example uh, i have got two different jug one jug is full of thick and viscous mud so very thick viscous mud and second jug is full of water so when i tilt both the jug what will happen water will fall down immediately but the fluid in the other jug which has got thick viscous mud will take time to come down if the fluid takes time to come down then the formation fluid is always ready to enter to the well bore so second factor that lead to swabbing is viscosity of mud or high gel strength the third factor that lead to swabbing is speed of pull out now here you can see that if i pull out slow then the negative pressure which is created behind bit or suction force created behind bit will be less but if i pull out fast then that will create more negative pressure so negative pressure will be very high and to neutralize this negative i need more volume of fluid but since the annulus which is clean or clear will have a volume limitation that means this clearance will allow only a particular volume if the volume required is more then we can't do anything so in this case if i pull out fast then i'll be creating more negative pressure and to neutralize the more negative pressure i need more mud but since the annulus has got a limited capacity of volume that can pass through it so the required volume is more and the available volume is less so the negative pressure will remain negative so if it is remain negative then we have positive pressure which is from the formation will enter the well bore so the third factor that lead to swabbing is pull out speed fast pull out speed here you can see that uh, some of the formations like reactive formation will absorb water and swells and if there is an bold up stabilizer then the allowed or the available annular clearance is very less so when i make an upward movement of string so the fluid required to come down to neutralize the negative pressure will not be there so if such thing happens you can find out uh, this reduction in clearance by overpull so whenever you are pulling out your string you will see an overpull overpull indicate the condition of hole is tight so in that case the fluid from annulus will have some restriction to come down so if we have this type of problem that uh, there is a tight spot and if we want to pull out then this route is not possible the fluid from annulus can't come down and neutralize the suction effect so what we have to do is we have to connect top drive or kelly if it is a kelly drive and pump through the string and try to neutralize this negative pressure so if we pump out and pull out then the chances of uh, swabbing is neglected or uh, removed whereas if i pull out without pumping then that will create swabbing effect and lead to swabbing so the fourth factor is pull out at tight spot without pump if i pull out at tight spot with pumps then there is no chance of swabbing but if i pull out without pumps at tight spots then there is a chance of swabbing so let us recap factors that lead to swabbing is first is annular clearance annular clearance depends on if bit or stabilizer is pulled up then increase if you increase the length of bha then again annular clearance will decrease second factor is viscosity of mud or high gel strength third factor if you maintain high speed of pull out that will lead to swabbing speed of pull out and fourth factor is if you pull out at tight spots without pump will lead to swabbing now here in a, an example let's say in static condition the hydrostatic pressure is 5200 psi and formation pressure is 5000 psi so when i make an upward movement of string what happens to the hydrostatic pressure it will drop because of suction effect so let's say swab pressure is 150 psi that is minus so if swab pressure is 150 psi so the remaining hydrostatic pressure will be 5050 so still i have got 50 psi of overbalance 
So in this case, if I make a flow check, there won't be any positive flow and there is no chance that formation fluid will enter into the well bore. So we can understand that the immediate effect of sobbing is reduction in BHP and kick will arrive only when the BHP goes below formation pressure. And the formula for swabbing is formula for BHP during pull out will be hydrostatic pressure which is always there minus swab pressure. And the swab pressure depends on the four factor which we already discussed.